The Red Baron, Ice Tea, Paddy Wagon, Tijuana Taxi. For anyone growing up in the late 60s and early 70s, these images bring back a floodgate of memories. Tom Daniel, an industrial designer by trade, created 75 classic monogram models, many that have been reissued time after time. Tom is one of the most creative hot rod and custom designers of the 20th century. If you remember building and enjoying Tom's designs, or if you're a new TD fan, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Tom Daniel, the man behind the model. Hey, good afternoon, uh, YouTubers and all the friends of Classic Plastic 101's Facebook page. Uh, this is Clay of Clay Chevy's, and this is going to be my entry into the Tom Daniels build. Um, don't know when I'm going to get to it because um, right now I'm trying to get prepped for a make and take. I'm going to do it at my church, and uh, we're going to be doing three different kits, so I got to build them first before I can teach the kids how to build them. And you know me, I'm really a slow builder, even though two of them are real easy snap together kits, so it may take me a while. But uh, I bought these on eBay a couple years ago when I first got back into modeling. And it's probably a mistake, but uh, I was excited to try to start planning my retirement and get back into modeling. So I bought this kit. And then I happened to see another one. So I bought it too. Uh, the problem was they were already started. As, and uh, I'll lift these boxes out of the way. And you can see they're not very good condition. So let me see if I can pan in on some of this. So you can see that some of it's already been painted. Um, like this frame here. It's one of them. This one's in pretty good shape. But this one here is uh, pretty busted up. Uh, you notice the fenders laying here. Now the, the front ears. I got one over here, one over there, one over there. And I think that's where the fenders hook up to. Um, at the time, I just started getting into YouTube, so I saw your friend and mine, Chris, uh, Classic Plastic, and he was doing the Munsters uh, living room, I think it was. And uh, he was showing techniques on uh, doing some wood, so I tried copying his, and uh, I've already washed this like two or three times already to get the paint off, because it was horrendous. But uh, I was practicing. As you can see, this one here, um, they were started, and this is a glue bomb. I mean, huge glue bomb. Some of the pieces are missing, so I got a partial refund on that one. And I've been slowly taking it apart, and then got tired of trying to take it apart. So, into the box it went. This other one's semi-completed, but again, I got to take it apart so I can redo it, so I can repaint it, everything else, and I will get there. This one had the box done. This one doesn't. The other pieces are still on the sprue up over there on that corner. Uh, you can see some of the barrels. And I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but it's kind of gray. And I don't know what kind of paint he used on this, but with the yellow plastic, it turned kind of gray. So I restarted doing some of the barrels after watching Chris. And mine look brown like wood, but they're still not perfect. So I got some more work to do on that. Uh, both kits, some pieces are missing, like I said, but I got all the tires, all the chrome still up in the, the trees. One came with instructions. So got the original instructions. You know, it's all yellow and everything, but so you can tell it's the original instructions. And then one, I just made a copy. I think I got this off the internet or something like that. And that was before I got the other one with the instructions. Uh, one had decals, or some of the decals. Uh, don't know where the other ones are. Chrome, I bagged them. But they seem to be mostly there, except for... The part on this one where it already started and had a, 
I mean, you talk about the amount of glue on this thing. It was unbelievable. So, I got some of it off. It's probably the same way I built it when I was a kid. <laughs> Use a whole tube of glue per model. So, here's the other chrome. So, I'm going to use this as my entry, and if I don't have enough parts for that one, I actually have two of these kits. And you can see this one's still sealed. Now what happened was, uh, Ravel, uh, when they took this over from Monogram, uh, the beer stuff started... Uh, at that point, you know, they're getting rid of Marlboro cigarettes and stuff like that on toys and stuff like that. So I think this one, uh, what is the copyright on this one? Yeah, 98. So they had already changed it from the beer wagon to the RC Cola wagon. It's the same model, except now it's molded in red, so it matches. So I have two of these kits. So I'm going to try, uh, try putting one of these together to make one. If I can't, I'll crack this baby open and I'll... I'll do it. But again, um, don't know when I'm going to get to it, guys. I'm going to try my best to get working on it probably after the holidays. Um, so, you know, because as a mailman, this is our busy time of the year. And uh, I come home, I'm dead tired, you know. And it's not so much the mail. We have a lot less mail. If you notice all your magazines and catalogs and stuff, they're going to stop in December. But we are going to get tons of packages, and, and if we, if we end up being like UPS and FedEx rolled into one. Uh, last year, my mail truck was just filled to the roof with packages. So, and I'm not, yeah, I'm not a young guy. I'm an old guy, and getting in and out of that truck, carrying in packages to the door, it's hard work. So, all right, guys, I've seen some of the videos up. I really haven't had a chance to comment, but uh, I'll try to. Um, good luck. And uh, we'll see you guys on the tube. Bye.